Hey, what is up guys, it is Roxas here, and welcome back to another Majora's Mask episode. Last time, what did we do last time? We went to the Great Fairy, we fixed her, gave us magic, got our Ocarina back, and we returned to our normal form, and opened up the Owl Statue. This episode, we are going to go and get one of the most important masks for this playthrough. Now... Oh, I keep forgetting I have the model swap on. Alright, so. A lot of you who've played this game probably know what the, uh, the, the certain mask is. It's, like, almost essential for the actual playthrough. So, last episode, I talked about two songs. I'm pretty sure it was last episode. That... Were like quote unquote secret. The only way you found out about them was uh through the box of the game. Yeah, yeah the actual like box for the the cartridge. It tells you about the song of fast flowing time, and then the song of inverted time. Basically, it allows to slow down time or skip to the next half of the day. For example. We have the night of the first day. Now, I'm not sure exactly when it is I need to go there, but there's a certain character we need to talk to. Ah, I was right. First? Alright, so this guy right here is, uh, he was a circus entertainer at the time, right? And he wanted to be the leader. But as you can see here, the dog of the circus is the actual leader, and he didn't like that. Now, of course, the, he says that the dog was a great leader. However, he does something. He steals the mask that the dog used to be a leader. Right? And because he's not a part of the actual uh, circus anymore, he just gives it to us for listening to his story. I, uh, why does it zoom in on the face? Actually, okay, hold on, here's, here's what we're gonna do. Take that, okay, no. We're just gonna... Oh, by the way, I have a uh, different kind of costumes. Oh my god, I completely forgot about some of these. We'll, ju we'll just go back to regular Link for now. Uh, because this certain... Uh, mask I want to get with the in-frame. And the thing about like this game is that until you become an actual human again, the guards don't take you seriously. They think you're a fucking lost little Deku kid that's all dangerous out there until they see your sword. I think it happens every time you reset for the first time. But, we're gonna go ahead and head over this way. Now, those of you who have played Ocarina of Time... Oh! Oops. Oops. Those of you who've played Ocarina of Time before already know, but like the fastest way to move in this game is by going backwards. Not sure why, but every time you go backwards, it's just faster. Also, that flying bird you saw back there, you don't want to get hit by it because it steals your items and takes it to what's known as a curiosity shop, which opens only at 9 or no, 10 p.m. And that's the only place you can buy back your items. Which sucks, but hey, it is what it is. Anyway, moving on. Here we are in the Milk Road. Here we have another statue. It's important to open these up because these are essentially warp points. I don't know how loud the game is compared to me. And if it's louder than me, I apologize. I don't. I, there's no way to do like checks for this, you know? 
So I'm kind of just like uh, going as I am with just the audio. But here we have the way to Longmon Ranch. Or not Longmon, that's not, that's in Ocarina Time. Romani Ranch. Someone was up to no good and mischief and blocked the road to Romani Ranch. I'm sorry, I'll remove it quickly. He says quickly, but it takes literally until the last day to get this gone. If only there was a certain way we were able to get through to this last day. Now, the further you progress here, the more progress on that boulder is made. Now, there's another way to actually get rid of the boulder, but we don't have the means for that yet. Alright, night of the second day. Only one more remains. I think this is the last time we need to use it. I think this is the dawn of the third days is the actual uh, boulders destroyed. But there's an actual side quest here where we eventually have to come through to get Epona, but we have to do something to Prove ourselves. It's it's a side quest, but a mandatory one. See, it's gone on the final day. This is Romani Ranch. Ah, that's right. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna go faster like this. Hey, look, it's Epona. Look. Isn't that your horse? You just run past the traumatized kid. So anyway, we, we're not allowed to get Epona until we're able to clear the... Uh, The boulder away much faster so fun fact I don't think I showed it off yet but every time the day moves like it's the next day the moon gets closer anyway here we have Romani who's clearly just absent-minded now where is ah right here so here's what we gotta do. Where's the there's the mask? So each of the masks have different uses and properties. A lot of them are used for side quests. This one in particular is used for this side quest, and those of you who played this game know exactly what side quests I was looking for. Out of the way first. I heard from my gramps says the moon's gonna fall. With something that big, it's sure to take this ranch down with it. Uh, oh well. My only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. And that's where this mask comes in. See how it changes the, from sword to march? Now, this mask was to be a leader, right? So, we just gotta bring all the chicks together. I forget how many there are.
Ah, there they are. I think that's the last. No, there's the last one over there. Now you guys can see what happens when we collect all of them. Remember, he wanted to see them all as roosters. I don't really get it, but just seeing these guys with the crest and all... I don't have any regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, have this from me. And we got the best mask in the game. The Bunny Hood. Now, what this mask does is it gives us uh, an increase in our speed. Yeah, these guys are all roosters. <laughs> So, yeah, this is easily one of the best masks to get, especially when you don't have a Pona, because observe, this is how you normally run, and it gives you a speed boost when you have it. Now, going back into the- oh my god. Alright, I'm satisfied with this model. Let's see here. Now we just go about our way back to Clock Town. Because I want to put away these rupees before the actual uh, day changes. Let's grab a few more just in case as well. Ah, a fairy. Let's just get past this thing. Round it up to a 1915. Come on. Or not. Okay. Actually, no, there's a patch right here. it oops that's too much okay now we go back to the first day because there's still one more mask I want to obtain that can only be gotten after going back through time. It's one that I wasn't able to get on the first plate or first run through of the actual game because of the fact that I was a Deku, not a human. Okay. We have to go up here. Ah, also. 
The way that these just run away, it's uh, due to another side quest, which we'll get to eventually. Now... Oops. One thing I want to get is this. Got a piece of heart. And now we wait here. I think it was the night of the first day, or was it the second day? I think it was, no, it was the first day. See, this mask is also kind of important. You'll see why. I'm not doing anything with it, really. Bro looks so suspicious right here. Anyway, we're going to be here a while, but that's one of the reasons why we got to wait until 10 p.m. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to that right when it happens. I'll see you guys then. All right, and we're back. I'm not sure if it happens exactly at 10 or at 10.30, but I think it happens exactly at 10? No, 10.30, 10.30. There's going to be a character that comes by... At 10.30. This is a part of a side quest as well. It's uh, how we get the bomb bags. Because in the store, they get stolen. And we're not able to get the bomb bags. So, it's because of this person here. And this interaction. Was, wait, was it not a 10? Was it midnight? 10.45. 11? That's... I guess it was midnight. Well, since we're back here, we're just gonna go ahead and talk. Yeah, no, this guy is really sketchy. For obvious reasons, and he's involved in not just this side quest, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> but another one down the line, which is probably the most, like, not ambitious, but the longest one. Oh, as a side note, I can actually show you. See, since we went back in time, the moon is back, since it's the first day, higher than it was on the third day. But yeah, every time you get close, or every time, like, it's a half of the day, the moon gets closer, and closer, and closer, until inevitably, if you fail, it just wipes out the entire population of, uh, Germina. Anyway, it's midnight, it's almost time, I'm pretty sure it's 12.30 when the actual, uh, Subject for the sub quest or side quest comes in, excuse me. Now I'm thinking about it now, but I'm actually pretty. Oh, there it is. Ouch, watch out. Stop, thief, and give the old lady her luggage back. And this is where we just spring into action. See, if we're not here, they get away with it, and the bomb bags are no more. Thank you. Since we didn't have, since he didn't make off with the, I can finally stock bomb bags at our shop. Maybe I'll put them out tomorrow. Yes, I must thank you. It's a dangerous mask, but maybe you could use it to throw your own fire fest or fi festival fireworks show. I was getting those two words back to back but we got the blast mask it's basically a free bomb since we don't have the bomb bag yet well thanks for helping me take care and there's a little bit of uh interaction we get during one of the shops let's see if we can go get to that real quick but her allowing or being allowed to go in has Open up the bomb bag, basically. 
Uh, there's a few things that we could also do, but when's the bomb place open again? Oh, that's not the bomb. Oops. We don't need to be here. It's the one further up ahead. It's open at... Oh, it's open now. Ah, right, here's a Goron, but see, here's, here's where we buy a bomb bag. Welcome. 90 rupees, up to 30 bombs. We just got it in stock. We just got a larger bomb bag in stock. Yep. This is where you would buy the bomb bag. Because it's in stock, and because we allowed her to get through that without, like, being robbed, it's there. Let's see. One more thing I want to do is I want to show you guys where a hidden chest in Clocktown is. We gotta go to uh, East, uh, East, East Clocktown. Right? Yes. So, it's a great chest if you want like a rupee because it's, it's a big rupee, big money. You just gotta go here. Just like that, and hello. There's a chest right here. And it has a lot of money. I think it's like 50. A silver rupee, 100, never mind. You can literally just farm that for days on end to go to the actual uh, the bank. To just increase your rupees and get the rewards from there. Let's see, was it just if I just there like that, I get it. I forget exactly what threshold I have to hit. Alright, let's just deposit these 99 rupees real quick. 141, yep, okay. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and just go back through time. Save him back to the first day. All right, and that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Mainly went to go get the masks that I wanted, which were just the bunny hood and the blast masks. So, with that, we have a lot more possibilities open because we get to go around faster, open up some stuff because we don't have a bomb bag just yet, but we might get them in the next episode regardless. So yeah, next episode, we're going to be heading down towards the swamp and actually starting to get to the actual main dungeon there and make strides in progressing the story. So, with that being said... This is the question I want to ask at the very end of the video. Let me know in the comment below, but, uh, hmm. If you've played Majora's Mask, what's your favorite mask and why? Alright then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye bye